Okay, barbers, YouTubers, time for change, you know? Um, so, my amateur again going bad. The second time appearing from the clipper. So, this is a new one. This is the bad one. And as you can see, the difference in quality. This is the bad one. So the brush, the carbon brush, which is these. These brush rub right here, right? So if it go too low, if the, if the copper here rub down too low, then we get a lower speed. And sometimes we think that we need new brushes when the copper here that ignite the carbon to give it the motor to spin, the armature to spin worn out so i just ordered one and it came today and um this is the new one i'm going to put in so these are called uh the amateur for the um this is a model 10 you know oster clipper these are classics man i, I love these really good okay so again this is the bad amateur. This is the brand new one. And this is the um the, the case in the shell where the amateur will go in. So this part will go all the way in here. Through here. This is the old one. That's testing. So it'll go all the way in there. And then this is the old gear, the call is a gear. So the gear would go all the way over here, sit, and it propel when the amateur turn. This piece, I forgot the name of this, but this act as an arm over the gear, right? This go over the gear right here, and it propel. Give that flex motion to move the tongue so this is a tongue so i'm going to change this tongue as well all right but this tongue probably worn out so you need to fit between the clipper the open other um the blade itself to be more tight so you get a more firmer swing all right so i bought a new gear a new tongue and a new inches so with the new inches your flex of opening your um your clipper to put your blade on should fit firmly on your clipper all right again we're doing an amateur repair for the model 10 oster clipper this is the bad one as you can see both difference this is the bad one, and this is the, the new one. All right. So a lot of barbers don't know to do the repair on the clipper, and that's not cool. You have to know about your blades. You know what I mean? You have to know about your tool, your blades, and how to take care of that. So that your costs of repairing or possible buying another clipper would be less on your pocket. You know what I mean? Where you could repair it yourself. As long as there's parts out there to um, purchase online, you can always get a repair, you know what I mean? So save you a dollar or two. All right, so we're gonna do the repair, changing the armature, all right? Clean this off.
Nice and clean. So you're gonna push this end and this end. Right? This is the brand new one. Nice right there. So right here is a, a oil feed spring, right? So this oil feed spring you gotta oil time to time you gotta oil right here and right here. So this is a little ball you gotta push down with your uh, your oil bottle. I'll get it. So usually this area right here feed right here to let the um the amateur smoothly spin no oil in here they don't might feel too too tight you know what i mean nice squirt Right there, see that? And then we're gonna put in our brand new gear. That gear is good, but I just wanna put a brand new one in just to get my See that? So the only thing that I'm gonna missing is um oops the comet washer underneath the bottom so do remember Take this out, this is a washer that should sit at the base Oops. So that washer, it goes over this metal rod right here And then the gear go on top Then this go over. So technically, I gotta go buy a tube of grease. So grease should be in here, in this um, area right here, to let the the gear all uh, tick. Um, body of feel to propel right and then I'm gonna put a brand new tongue on this is a tongue line it up properly So that line up properly.
so you can see that motion. So the faster this spin, the tongue moves. See? So that's that. Then we're gonna put this cover back on. This is the Model 10. So it's just using and using the actual name of the turn off. And then these are screws. So as I said again, I gotta get some grease to put in here. Grease. Do you remember this is a classic clipper? Classic, classic barber clipper for you guys to have. Full of power. You know what I mean? The only two, the only things that go bad in it, um, this mainly. So the pressure of the carbon brushes on here, all right. Um, the inches open and close this piece, open and close normally kind of worn out a little bit. So, and the carbon brush, you have to repair these when they decrease in size, all right. Old school man, so I love these clippers. Yeah, you find a lot of old school barber still using these. This is like maintaining a car, you know. Most new barbers don't want to go through these problems with these clippers, so they just go and buy another new one. You know what I mean? All right. This piece, we're gonna slide this all the way up in there. Make sure it's lined up. All right. Get the line up right there. And then we're gonna put the screws. Right here, so right here, car four screw. I move this box over there to the box that it come in. Uh, thanks to Appleton Barber Supply. See this? That's where I get this from. All right, guys. Actually, let me turn this around. That's where I get that from. All right. Talking about the screws, so we could do it real fast. So doing a time lapse on the video. I'm trying to do this real fast. carbon brush so these carbon brush have a groove that you gotta find to let it you know, slide right in 
This is a spring that gives the brush a tension. These are the caps. You gotta, you know, hold firm and push down. And hold the top, get your flattered, and you turn. Get that tight hole. Same thing with this side. Turn, drop it in. Now the screw on spring. Bam, drop it in. And then we turn again with a screwdriver. It should be good. But um my inches. I'm gonna let my inches sit tight for a minute because this is a different fitting. As you can see it's a different fitting um screwdriver. See so that probably like an all in key. So I'm gonna let this wait. But everything else should be good. Okay, so we just plug that in. So here we go. Shouldn't sound like that. Let's put some oil right here. Don't want to overpower feeding it too much oil. Yeah, like that sound. Yeah. 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 You hear that whistle? Mm. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it's all like new bro. So again, we had changed this. This thing goes bad, worn out. Always keep in mind when you're losing power of your clipping that's sounding like this. Is either two things, your low one carbon brush, that's go right here, or you need to repair this. So this is called an amateur, right? So we're good right here. Second one I changed since I have the clipper. Alright. Mmm, so and so sweet. Thanks for watching. Zoom here, Trent.